Hello everyone, welcome to the Fox Tech YouTube channel. This time we talk about getting some uh, information about the iPhone based on the internet uh, out there and based on some numbers available on the iPhone. So let me just show you a couple of different ways how you can actually get more information about your iPhone. Now, this may be useful whether you want to find out about your personal device or some device that you're actually going to buy secondhand. This is just as useful. Anyways, there are two ways how you can find out more information about the specific iPhone. It's using either email number or serial number. So these are both numbers which are only pertaining to that specific device. So you can be sure that this number pertains to only one iPhone. Anyways, the first option is using email. This is a number which you can find out easily by going to the phone app and just typing in this sequence. So you're going to go like this and it shows you a bunch of different things like the device info, email, email too, because if you have, for example, an iPhone with a double SIM capabilities, you're going to have two email numbers. But also, if you don't want to use this method, you can also find email on the box of the iPhone. You should be able to find it on the SIM tray. So yeah, it's up to you to find it somewhere, but you should get the email number. Now, once you have the uh, email, all you have to do is to open up Safari and look up some email identification sites. So I like to use, for example, email.info. When you open up this, app, you're going to be able to paste your email number or someone else's email number right inside of the search field right there. So let me just open it up like this. And if you paste it, you're going to be able to find some information about the VI. So the information you're going to get through email is, for example, the iPhone model, the color, storage capacity, whether it's locked to a specific carrier or not, if it's currently activated or if it's reported as lost or something. You can also find out about the warranty status. You can also see the history. In some cases, you may be able to access the history of the email number, which could show if the device has been blacklisted or something. So yeah, it depends on what is going on, but you can always just paste it in here and check it out. There are, all, of course, other websites which may work the same way, but yeah, but it's up to you to decide which specific website you want to use. Perhaps you can even try multiple ones. It doesn't matter. By the way, guys, if you want to know everything about your iPhone apps, you have to click the link down below in the description. It's a 100% free education platform where I publish like video editing courses. There is going to be the all apps explained course, which is coming up. It's going to explain every single app on your iPhone. It's going to be really cool. So go ahead and check out that link. It's free to access. So yeah, go ahead and do that right now. So this was just the email number. Besides that, you also can use the serial number. The serial number can be found inside of the settings and inside of the about section. So if you go to the settings, general and about, I'm not gonna go there because I don't want to reveal it, but there you're gonna be able to find the serial number. And a serial number can be accessed or checked through official Apple website, which is very useful. So if you go to Google and open up check coverage Apple, so check coverage like this and once it loads up you can see that this is the website where you have the option to enter your apple serial number you can see device serial number this is how you can uh, where you can paste it into the text field it also gives you a guide on where you can find it so you can find it on your mac or iphone it doesn't matter you can find it on all these devices a quick verification and you're going to get some other information about that specific device which may include some things like uh, very similar to the email including the phone model manufacturing date storage capacity you can mostly check uh, the coverage you know the coverage is for the warranty and apple care and the eligibility to like uh, purchase some more coverage so that's like the most most of the stuff which you can do in here but also you can also find out about the original purchase date or some tech specifications so these are all the things which you can find out about devices online using the uh, specific numbers that they have so that's about it i hope i have explained everything to you if i did or if you found this video useful make sure to leave a thumbs up and definitely subscribe to the fox tech youtube channel i'm gonna wrap up this video right now and i will see you in the next one see you guys there